What's up guys? It's Mickey Andre here. One of the masterminds behind this awesome 240SX project that we're giving away. If you guys haven't already entered to win this, today is the last day. Head on over to Throttle on the interwebs, pick up some merchandise, order that car part you've been trying to get, and get your entries in. Every $5 you spend gives you one entry for this car. You guys can do the math. Buy a car part, you're gonna get a lot of entries. So today's video is going to be to give a walk around of the car. So I'm gonna go ahead and kick this off under the hood. As you guys know, we installed an SR20 DET motor in this car, which is the stock motor in Japan. It's a two liter inline four cylinder with a turbocharger from the factory. We've gone ahead and stripped it down and added a Garrett 2860 turbocharger, which is a little bit of an increase over the stock turbo, which is nice. Uh, it's very responsive. We went ahead and stuck with the stock exhaust manifold and intake manifold because they do exactly what we need them to do. We didn't want this thing to be real laggy and the cast products that came on the engine are actually really good for what we wanted out of this car. The car feels great, it's very responsive, and it has enough horsepower to do some skids. What's really cool is it's very expandable. Whoever wins this car is gonna have the opportunity to make it even better. And that's what we try to strive for whenever we build these cars, is we wanna give the, the guy that wins it something really cool and really rad and unique, but give them the opportunity to upgrade it more. Uh, we don't want to upgrade it so much that it's just a finished car. So the goal in the engine bay was a lot like the Bad Apple. We wanted to clean it up um, as much as possible, eliminate things that weren't any longer necessary, and really tidy up the bay, color code things, clean things that we're keeping and reusing and repainting them. So as you can see, the brake booster here has been completely blasted and repainted. It looks like a brand new part other than the dust that's on it from driving down here. We've even retained the stock heat shield for the uh, stock exhaust manifold. We've got a bunch of upgrade bits in here. Um, huge shout out to JDM of California for the SR20 DET motor. ISR Performance supplied a lot of the upgrades. Our fuel pressure regulator, our fuel rail from Circuit Sports, all came from ISR, including the pulleys, the power steering setup, the overflow catch, also the radiator tubes here, uh, silicone pipes. Those are really nice. They're gonna hold up to the heat that we're gonna throw through this thing. So huge shout out to ISR for supporting this project. Also under the engine, uh, is our fuel system. So unlike an RX-7, we actually have our fuel filter up here, uh, which is all routed with Dash 6 and fittings and lines from Phoenix Performance. We use their, their fittings and lines pretty much solely on almost all of our builds. So that's cool. We added a Gretti blow-off valve, which is awesome. It sounds great. Uh, it's right here, right in front. And we've also added a catch can. This is a really high-end catch can um, from a gentleman up in Canada. It's a spun part, really cool looking, and it has a uh, drain cock on the bottom, so it's easily drainable. Can and air filter that's routed uh, via four inch pipe down there. So moving on behind the SR20 DET, we actually have an action clutch. We work with action on a lot of our projects and they're always down to help us out and support us. So we appreciate them. And up here above our intercooler and radiator, we have the uh, Street Faction cooling panel, which is a really nice product. Uh, it doesn't rattle really nice and solid. It's going to direct air through the radiator, which is what we want it to do. And to round out the front end, obviously we have our AUX beam headlights, which are upgrades. These are super rad. Uh, very cool LED upgrade for the car. Yeah, so that about wraps up the under the hood area. The exterior of the car is probably the most polarizing because of the awesome orange paint that was put on it by our friends over at SOS Customs. They did a killer job refreshing this body, which had seen better days, as you guys know. We went ahead and threw a Rocket Bunny uh, version 2 kit on here with the full canards and wing. One of the cool things that is near and dear to my heart is hardware. We went ahead and upgraded all of the hardware on this car inside and out for the most part, other than the major, major suspension bolts that are made specifically for their location. We've upgraded with Downstar hardware. Huge shout out to Downstar. If you guys aren't aware of who they are, check them out on social media, check out their website. If you've got a project build, They've got bolts and beauty washers for your build. I promise you, you won't be disappointed. And we also added a Cybon carbon fiber hood. Now this hood was one of the most important additions to this car for me. Um, I love aggressive venting on hoods and deep vents and stuff like that. When we were shopping for a hood for this car, what really grabbed me about this was the uh, raised center section. I think it looks really great with this kit being wide. Having a little bit of height on the hood really helps accentuate the front end. I also like these vents. If you guys are familiar with Nissan GTRs, you know that these vents are actually like a stock vent on the GTR hood. 
They're a little further inboard on the stock GTR hood, but it really ties the whole Nissan heritage and family lineage together back to the 240. So for me, this was the hood. We've got some carbon accents that we left so that it's a shame to cover up a carbon hood. So we left a little bit of that pop through. It really ties in with the black roof and the black canards and all that. Really happy with the way that turned out. So that rounds out sort of the front of the car. The GK Tech mirrors, I think, were something that was really important to me to have. I'm a very like late 90s, early 2000s JDM guy. So having a Ganador style hood, these are not Ganadors, but Ganador ones are very expensive and hard to get a hold of these days. GK Tech makes their own version. They're very cost effective and they look the part. We went ahead and had SOS Customs throw a nice gloss coat of paint on those. I think they turned out awesome. And the visibility on them is really good. If you order a set of Ganadors, they're for right hand drive cars. And in the States, we have a problem with that. Uh, the visibility is really bad. These are actually designed for left hand drive. So good job, GK Tech. You read my mind. So as far as wheels and tires go, we went ahead and picked the Cosmos wheels. This is their XT206R. And we chose it in a two-tone finish. The center is gunmetal to match our rear bash bar that we got from Street Faction. And I wanted to use the center of the wheel to tie in the bash bar. Mated with those Cosmos wheels, we also chose Falcon Tires RT615K+, Plus, which is a great all-around street and track tire. We use them on a lot of our projects. I use them on all my personal vehicles, and I personally love them. We've got 265s up front and 275s out back. It's just enough meat to make it look really cool going down the road. You know, overall, that's kind of the that's kind of the exterior. We've got a rear diffuser, and the rear diffuser just kind of completes the, the look. A lot of people aren't huge fans of the bumperless look on the rear, but uh, we took it one step further and did add that Street Faction bash bar. Created the taillights to the Koki taillights off of a 180SX from Japan which is a really cool upgrade to me. And we also have our ISR exhaust that we basically remove the muffler off of and put a straight pipe, three inch straight tip out the back. And it has our heat shield products lava wrap on it, which I think is just a cool touch. So being that we wanted this to be sort of a motorsports themed car, we did go ahead and upgrade the brakes on this. On the front, we actually have a Cadillac CTS-V Brembo caliper. This is a six piston caliper. It's really large caliper and it's enough to do the job that we needed to do. It actually dwarfs the stock caliper and rotor. In order to fit the CTSV brake caliper, we had to use a Street Faction adapter. If you guys want to do this upgrade yourself, uh, you can buy those products from Street Faction or you can click the link in the description below. We also have StopTech rotor matched to the calipers. On the rear, we went ahead and went with a dual R32 caliper setup. Being that we wanted to retain an e-brake for the street, aside from our hydraulic e-brake, which I'll get to in a minute, we added an additional caliper on the rear. So we have four rear calipers and they're offset um, 180 degrees apart. One of them for the hydraulic e-brake, one of them for the foot brake, and then internally the R32 has shoes for the standard e-brake. We wanted to retain the standard e-brake because we do want this to be a street car and you may take it for a drive and park it on a hill. You need a parking brake. So that about does it for the outside of the car. All right, so as with any 30 year old car, they've seen better days. And this one, this particular one has. So the idea here was to have a motorsport minded interior, but still keep some of the creature comforts of a street car. So that if you did want to take this to a cars and coffee on a Sunday morning, it's not super noisy and just unbearable to drive. So we went ahead and put brand new carpeting and carpeted mats in here. It gives a nice fresh feel to the interior and it also gets rid of any of those old odors from the last 30 years that are just stuck in the carpeting. It's definitely something that we try to do on all the builds is actually replace all the carpets and stuff. So we went ahead and retained the panels from the rear shocks forward just to have a finished look. We went ahead and added a set of Sparco Evos and they're on sliders and street faction rails which are actually very nice and easily adjustable. So anybody of any height can get in and drive this car. So whether you're short or tall and you win this car you're all set. We also went with a suede wrap Sparco steering wheel with their awesome motorsport quick release. And again, with a 30 year old car, a lot of times you have cracked dashboards. Ricky and I went ahead and cleaned up this dashboard, repaired all the cracks and flocked it. If you guys want to know more about that, you can click the link in the description below to watch our how to flock a dash video. Uh, another thing I like to do is I like to keep a radio and speakers in the car, even if it's just four speakers. Uh, you don't necessarily have to have an amp and all the fancy bits. We went ahead and inserted uh, a Pioneer Double Din and four Pioneer speakers to complement that. And I think it'll be just enough tunes so that if you want to throw something on, you can. This area here got really busy. 
we went ahead and added a Siki remote mount e-brake. Normally you would have an e-brake handle here with a reservoir, right, a brake reservoir. I didn't want it against the driver's leg or have to worry about fluid spills up here, anything like that. So we went ahead and actually used the Siki remote mount, which is awesome and it's the only one I've actually seen on the market that allows you to run a rod in place of your master cylinder and move the master cylinder to the back. Out of sight, out of mind, easy to fill back there. If you have a little fluid spill, it's not the end of the world. It's not all over your leg, your pants and all that stuff, all over your carpet in the front. To me, that was a really important part of this interior was the remote mount hydraulic e-brake system. So shout out to Siki for making an innovative product uh, that's very versatile and can be used in a streetcar application. So cool. We used an ISR short throw shifter to give the car a more sporty feel. It's a very short shift. I actually really like it. I'm not usually a big notchy shifter guy, but this one feels really good. To round it out, Ricky actually made new brackets and we moved the street parking brake from this location here over to the other side of the tunnel and not have to worry about everything fighting for the same space. We also had SOS Customs redo the headliner in here. It was uh, faded and ugly. Uh, they went ahead and threw a new sheet of black headliner on it for us. It looks crisp and new now, which is awesome. And one thing that we haven't finished yet is actually in the center dash vent here, we've removed those for a reason. We actually have a Street Faction center vent that's gonna go in there that houses three gauges. We're gonna have oil pressure, water temperature, and air fuel gauge mounted in the center dash here. That will be completed before this car is given away. This is the last thing we have to do, and this car is complete. In order to continue with the motorsport theme and sort of take this car back to its heritage, Z car heritage, we put an actual door card in here. We got rid of the dated plastic blue couch looking interior panels and went with these Street Faction door cards. Uh, it has cutouts for your lock, your release, and also adds a door grip handle to pull the door closed and open it. We also went ahead and added a set of just like old school hot rod uh, window cranks because this is an 89 and it has manual windows. All right, so that rounds out our 240SX giveaway project. But before we wrap this up, I wanna give a huge shout out to our friends over at DNA Garage. If you guys are rotary heads or just need your piston engine worked on, give them a look. They work on everything and they were integral in us getting this car finished up. Also tuned by Sean for the awesome remote tune. If you guys need a tune on your vehicle, look him up as well, tuned by Sean on Instagram. He does awesome Facebook portal tuning. He's right there in the car with you on the dyno, which is such a cool, cool feature. Nobody else is doing that. Shout out, Sean. Thank you so much for getting this thing running awesome for our new winner. If you guys haven't signed up, entries end today. Head on over to Throttle, pick up some merchandise, buy some car parts, and get your entries in. Every $5 you spend gives you one entry into this car. So go get your stuff, guys you are not gonna wanna miss out on getting a chance to win this thing. It is as good as it looks.